Ladies and gentlemen, speaker number five, Andy C. Paul. Andy C. Paul, speaker uh, number five. <laughs> Frank, hold this poll for me. Let's see what's at the end of it. It's a piranha. No, it's an eel. This story sent me back when I was nine years old as well. But at the end of that poll was not a snake, nor an eel, but a piranha. This story transported me to Bath Settlement, Guyana, when I was growing up. The purpose of it was to entertain us by sharing with us a day in the life of nine-year-old Barbara, a day that I can relate to. She achieved this purpose of entertaining and humoring us through the device of storytelling. Lena Waite said, we tell stories so others can see fragments of themselves in those stories. This story resonated with me as it transported me to that day when my nine-year-old self was fishing on the banks of the Demerara River in Guyana. Barbara, I did not only see myself, this was my story. It was relatable, it was compelling, and it was funny. I would like to share three things that you did really well and as commendations and three recommendations. You had grand gestures, the dust, the long bamboo pole, up the hill and down the hill, which adds so much dimension to the storytelling. You created imagery and word pictures that transported us to the banks of that river, almost like a normal Rockwell painting that created this idyllic farm setting. Then you use all the elements of storytelling. It relied on the characters, the plot, the team, the setting and the conflict to deliver a very compelling story. We get to learn of your dad, Aunt Mary, Frank, David, fishing on the farm, and then the conflict being, it's not a fish, but an eel that when it was resolved. Some recommendations, gestures. I recommend that you have a home base where you keep your hands and not move it all around so your gestures are intentional. When you have those grand gestures, it becomes more impactful. I suggest that you involve the audience in the scene. Ask us, hold my pole. Let's see what's at the end of, of the line. Then this audience would have, would become active participants rather than passive spectators to this story. I thought that at the very end of the story, it was an opportunity to have a call to action. Serendipity, you look for something and you find something else. It was uh, not an, a snake, but an eel. Let that be the gift to the audience. Let's keep looking. Let's keep dreaming. So in conclusion, I think this memorable and compelling story can be improved tremendously if you involve the audience into the scene and you have a compelling call to action at the end. Barbara, I am inspired to bait my pole and go fishing this weekend. Mr. Contest Master. <laughs>